All right, we're going to talk about core control today. We're going to use um, the dead bug as a series of progressions for you to improve not only your climbing, but your descending on the bike and avoid or limit uh, lower back pain during those two types of activities. So a lot of times when we get lower back pain or fatigue, it means our core isn't actually doing its job while we're riding. And we usually are compensating typically through our back or our hip flexors are having to take over, etc. So I'm going to show you some things that I want you to try at home. Um, you can definitely do these every day if you wanted to, if you have problems with core bracing. Um, but let's get to it. So, dead bug. First thing is I'm going to get on the floor and I'm going to look like a dead bug. Okay? So, we're going to be actually learning how to brace from the floor. This is like a level one progression uh, before we like move into advanced core exercises, right? So, first of all, put your feet flat on the floor. I want you to, just for reference purposes, I want you to arc your lower back, or create an arch, as much space and a gap between you and the floor with your lower back. I just want you to know that's an anterior tilt and also a lower back hyperextension, all right? That is a non-core control uh, position. So this, if I'm in this position at all, um, typically my core isn't doing what it's designed to do. So what we're gonna do from the ground, we're gonna use the floor as reference. I'm going to posterior tilt. I'm going to roll my hips forward. Think about taking your hip bones and pulling them closer to your shoulders. And with doing that, I should feel my lower back pushing into the floor and I should also feel my core contracting, right? So it's kind of like a little reverse crunch. My hips are still on the floor, my butt's still on the floor. I'm not lifting my butt in the air to do this. I'm just rolling that spine into the ground. All right, so if you feel your core already starting to brace there, what I want you to do is take a big breath in, and I want you to breathe all the way out while you're maintaining that posture tilt forward. So we're gonna breathe in, breathe all the way out. And as you do that, Suck that belly button in as tight as you can and keep those hips rolled forward, all right? You can start here for the few reps and do it again. Big breath in and then as you breathe out, roll those hips forward. All right, and now we're getting in those deep core muscles around the spine. And that's what we want to maintain and activate through this drill. So first things first, hands in the air, breathe in and breathe out for me. Lock that core down and keep it there. You can still breathe, but keep bracing. I'm going to pick that leg up, one leg up, either right or left, doesn't matter, and drop that heel back down. And what I'm feeling for is that my lower back has equal pressure into the floor. There is no loss of contraction there. All right, so if you can do this drill fairly simply, then we can move on to the next. If you feel discrepancy in your pressure in the lower back by just doing that drill, guess what? You're sitting single leg basic dead bug um, until you get it. You can do anywhere between 10 to 15 reps on each leg, focusing on keeping that core into the back. Level two would be just bringing your feet up, both of them, breathing in and breathing out. Once I have that core engaged, I'm gonna hold it there, still breathing and bracing. And now I'm just gonna alternate each leg. And as I do that, again, I'm maintaining that pressure through the floor, okay? I'm not letting my, my lower back lighten up. And uh, one way to do that is grab a small towel, and put it under your back, it's good feedback as well. You can tell if you're lightening uh, any pressure in your lower back by just having a lower towel there, a little towel there. Okay, awesome, so we're here. We're tapping, we're alternating, you're bracing, you're crushing that. Next step would be, if you got that down, we're gonna now extend the leg. Big breath in, breathe out, and now extend, bring it back in. You can reset your breath for the next one. Keeping that lower back pushing into the floor. And that would be a dead bug with single leg extension alternating. 
Those three progressions are a great starting point into learning how to brace with your core and minimize overuse of the back. Once you have those, I'll send some more your way, uh, but work on those first and uh, get after it, ladies.